let's talk about modeling multiplication and division in today's skill builder. Marching band season is starting soon and I just got this new marching band formation book. My assistant and I are looking through the pages to see what type of formations will work for our team. Join us. This formation here is pretty simple and a great way to start the season. We can use it in parades. How can we figure out how many people total we need for this formation? Well, the picture shows seven people across and then eight rows down. That is a multiplication problem. We could figure out the answer of seven times eight. Wow, oh, that multiplication fact always gets me. I can also add seven eight times. It looks like this. You are right. We would need 56 members to create this formation. We don't have quite enough people to do that formation. Right now, there are only 36 members signed up. How many rows could we make if we put 9 people in each row? I am going to add 9 until I reach 36. After I reach 36, I will go back and circle each 9. There are 4 9s. This means I can make 4 rows of 9 band members. The math equation looks like this. 36 divided by 9 equals 4. So we would be able to make 4 rows of 9 for the basic formation pictured. Yes, seems like we need to increase our membership. I read in the paper yesterday that our neighboring school has three times as many members in their band than we do. Wow! If I wrote that as a math problem it would look like this. It means compared to our school they have three times as many members or three times 36 or 36 plus 36 plus 36. In total, they have 108 members compared to our membership of 36. That sure is a lot more rows of band members they have to make. Look at this formation of a waving smile. It states to create the formation we will need 42 band members. Do you want to come to join our band?